All right, David Can here with another question from the question bank. This one's from D3, and we're looking at Hubble's law. One of the most intense sources known to radio astronomers is uh, this uh, galaxy here, NGC 5128. Uh, photographs show that it's an elliptical galaxy with a big band of dust, and it's this far away. In light years. Uh, Hubble's law predicts that it's moving away from the Earth. So what is Hubble's law? Hubble's law is that the rate of recession of galaxies is proportional to their disk separation. Uh, in other words, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away. Uh, there is a, an equation for this that you could use to help you uh, make this uh, statement of Hubble's law. You can say that velocity is equal to Hubble's constant times the separation between galaxies. Just uh, make sure to define those terms. Uh, next, state and explain what experimental measurements need to be taken in order to determine Hubble's constant. Well, we see that Hubble's constant requires uh, a distance to a galaxy and the velocity of the galaxy. So you need to measure the distance to a galaxy. Uh, since it's a galaxy, it's going to be very far away, so presumably you might do this uh, via measurements of Cepheid variable stars. That's uh, one thing you have to do. Measurements of Cepheid variable stars. Uh, another thing you might do is measure the velocity of the same galaxy. Uh, via redshift. Uh, finally, you need to repeat for many galaxies across a wide range of uh, separations or distances. So you want galaxies which are near and galaxies which are far uh, because Distance would be your x variable, velocity would be your y variable, and h would be your slope. So you want a, like a nice big graph to get that h out of. Uh, a possible value for the Hubble constant is 60 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Use this value to estimate the recession speed of the galaxy. Well, that galaxy, NGC 5128. Uh, we know that the velocity is equal to the Hubble constant times the separation. So that's 60 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Uh, and the uh, distance to the galaxy, which was given to us, 1.5 times 10 to the 7 light years. 1.5? 1.5 times 10 to the 7 light years. Uh, you'll notice a unit mismatch. We have kilometers, megaparsecs, and light years. Uh, so let's see if we can turn these light years into megaparsecs and get them to cancel out. Um, so let's take 1.5 times 10 to the 7 and divide it by 3.26 light years per parsec to turn it into parsecs. And then multiply by 10 to the negative 6 to turn the parsecs into megaparsecs. Uh, so all of that is megaparsecs, which cancel with these megaparsecs, leaving 276 kilometers per second as our recession speed. Finally, we're going to use the value for the Hubble constant to estimate the age of the universe, which is kind of amazing that you can do that with a single number. Uh, but you can, because velocity is the distance you travel divided by the time taken. Or in other words, the time taken is the distance you travel divided by the speed with which you travel. And we just saw that the speed with which you travel is Hubble's constant divided by that separation. Uh, so if you went a distance d at uh, if you went a distance d in time t, and you traveled at that v, 
then the time taken is d divided by hd. The d's cancel, and the time taken is 1 on h, 1 divided by the Hubble constant. So that's 1 divided by 60 kilometers per second per megaparsec. And that is the age of the universe, but just in ridiculous units. Uh, it works out to be 0 0.0167 megaparsecs per kilometer per second. Uh, yeah, not great. Uh, so in order to get sensible units, we're going to have to convert megaparsecs to kilometers. Um, so let's start by turning megaparsecs into parsecs by multiplying by 10 to the 6. Uh, we don't have in our repertoire a direct conversion from parsecs to meters, unless you happen to memorize that. So we're going to have to go through light years first. 3.26 light years per parsec. Once we're in light years, we can convert to meters with the expression 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters per light year. Uh, and then finally back into kilometers. So 10 to the minus 3 to get back into kilometers. Yikes. Okay, so megaparsecs become parsecs, become light years, become meters, become kilometers which cancel with those kilometers and leave about 5 times 10 to the 17 seconds. Uh, there's an asterisk here because the assumption that we made when we developed this equation was that the Hubble constant is constant. So since the beginning of the universe, the Hubble constant has been the Hubble constant and hasn't changed. There's evidence that it has changed and is still changing. So that is not necessarily a safe assumption, but that's the assumption that we had to make.